But as Greg said, Greg, okay, so we were talking earlier about how much ice accumulation um, we were really concerned about because that's when it starts affecting folks' power yeah. um, and any sort of tree branches. So what do we need to know? Yeah, and, and one of the things we need to know, Carrie, is this is going to continue for several more hours. So it's not going anywhere. We're continuing to see the uh, freezing rain, the sleep mixed in. So we'll just see conditions certainly on the roads getting worse. Hopefully it won't get a whole lot uh, worse uh, or on the um, on the um, power lines and tree branches, but we will see as we take a look from our downtown Dallas Tower Camp. 26 degrees, it's cold, so we know it's not going to be melting. Temperatures won't be warming up. We will not be getting out of the 20s today, it doesn't look like. We may get up to around 29 degrees or so a little bit later today, but still several degrees below freezing, so nothing's going to be melting. And you can see how the erosion are kind of sleet covered we're, what we're looking at out there most of the roads as you look from our downtown Dallas Tower cam right now feeling like it's 18 currently with the yes, sleet still coming down and it has been heavy and we have been getting that thunder sleet across the area this morning too. So that's in Dallas over toward Irving up toward Carrollton. So as you look at the alleged in there, you can see the sleet indicated by the purple shade. So that's what we're mostly seeing in downtown Dallas right now. Kind of that change over to a little more freezing rain out toward Balt Springs there and Mesquite this morning. But back into a Tarrant County, Fort Worth, you're picking up almost all sleet right now as well. Down toward Arlington, maybe a little bit of a wintry mix. So let's zoom out and you see how widespread this is across our area all the way out to our south and west. So just about anywhere you go across North Texas, we are going to have some issues as far as the a wintry mix is concerned mostly in the form of sleep now is what we're looking at with those pockets of the heavier bands so again we could have some very quick accumulation out there on the roads so we're not just talking about bridges and overpasses main roads as well and getting icy and slushy out there so please do just stay indoors if you don't have to be out on the roads at all so this will be widespread and it is moving from southwest to northeast so kind of moving over the same areas and so that's why we'll have that accumulating on the roads especially in and around the metroplex here as we go through the next few hours. In fact, as we look at our time cast, once again, as we uh, pass 8 o'clock now, but as we head toward midday, we're looking at those heavier bands that will continue across our area. That will be the case heading home a little later today, too. Notice how we transition on into the afternoon. This won't be going anywhere. We'll still be looking at fairly widespread activity as we get into the evening. Begins to taper off a little bit for us, so we'll get a, bit of, a little bit of a lull in the uh, activity, I think, as far as the freezing rain and sleet is concerned, at least for a few hours before that next band moves in, and that's going to be as we head into the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. So we'll talk more about that for you in just a little bit. But look at those mid-upper 20s that we have out there right now, and we're not going to be getting out of the 20s as we head into this afternoon. So even though the uh, precip will start to wind down a little bit, still going to have issues out there on the roads, even as we head into tonight.